Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, image radio call sign KE0OG, here with an interesting brown box. I think it's from All Powers, and I think it's solar panels. Let's take a look and see. All right, so here's our giant box. It's pretty long. And let's see what we've got here. It's heavier than the Dickens. Too. All Powers. Product name, Solar Panel Charger, and it's allpowers.com, made in China. Not surprised. All right, this is All Powers. And let's see what all is in here. There's a big pouch of stuff on the side here. This is the actual output of the solar panel. These are standard solar panel connectors. We've got all kinds of stuff down here. Okay. The small instruction manual has got five panels, a carabiner, two carabiners, some sort of adapter cord. Okay, this connects to the things and then this is supposed to connect to the all powers, but I'm not sure that it takes this plug. Let's take a look. It wants either a computer style power cord or solar going in like in that connector right there. Let's see what else we have in here. Aha, this might be it. This is the right one. I guess this is for different style machines. This has the weird little connector right there. Okay, there's more stuff in here. More carabiners. Not sure if those are for real or just for looks. Another one. Two more carabiners. And some silica gel. Okay. Now the way this thing sets up, each panel has behind it a little sort of a stand to hold it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out on the patio, since we still have some sunlight, connect it up and see how well it does. Well, we opened the box yesterday, and this is what was inside. This is the All Powers solar panels, 37.4 volts. So this is at 400 watts. The actual peak power is 400 watts. Open circuit voltage goes up as high as 45.3. Short circuit current is 11.45. I can measure that. I don't have anything that can measure that. Okay, maximum power is the point on the solar response curve where it provides the maximum power out. Okay, and it claims 19 to 22 percent solar conversion efficiency. These come out of here. They go like this and see they hook and this and they hook and this is what will go in the charger. Now what we need to do is completely unbundle everything. Well, let's put it up. Because it's going to be on this edge so that it folds open. Okay, there are five panels. One, notice these are a little bit flexible, but not flexible enough to step on. Each one of these has on the back this. This is a leg. Okay, now let's get it spread out all the way. This is clearly a two person job. Now 
This is clearly a two-person job. This is my wife, KB0VWW. It's helping out here just like we might if we were setting this up for camping. Now this is the output and it goes into that. So I'm gonna put this in the shade. Okay, this is the front of the panel. This is the input side over here. Twenty-one, two, three, seven, two, fifty, two, seventy-nine, three hundred and fifty-seven watts, and growing. The device is accepting what it wants to accept. So this is well, three hundred and fifty watts. This thing is uh, charging pretty quickly. Okay, it's settling down a little bit now. Okay, we'll come back here in about fifteen minutes and see how it's doing. These panels are available on Amazon, as shown in this link right here. There are somewhat over $500 for 400 watt set of panels. You can get fixed solar panels for less than a dollar a watt. These are just a little bit more than a dollar a watt, which makes these, since they're portable and all connected and everything, makes these a pretty good deal. We have successfully fully charged the large All-Stars uh, power station. It's completely 100% charged. So, do I recommend these panels? They work very well. Now, note the drawback. It is most decidedly a two-person install to leave them out like this. It's just not going to happen if you don't have two people. The thing will be flopping all over the place. Now, I have seen some of these on the sides of RVs out in the desert where they hang them on one side. I guess that could be done here too. The cloth here seems uh, pretty resilient. These are not the kind of panels that you would mount permanently on top. You could put them up there, but if you have any wind at all, you'll be uh, ruining the day that you decided to uh, do that. So these all fold up. This right here comes all the way around all of those, okay? And there is on the back here, probably easier just to put it on the ground. And that's it, you're all done. This is one of those flaps that supports it. And then on this side, unplug the wires, stow them all in here. zip it up and this is ready for storage and you could put it say in an RV and put it up on one of the beds or something when you're not using it or put it in the house somewhere at the back of a closet this thing is very thin comparatively and takes up uh, hardly as much room as a folding chair okay and then you've got the power box here which will serve for quite a while. Now, according to the instruction manual, this can handle rain. Not immersion in water, but rain. Okay, so it will still pick up a little bit of power in cloudy weather, but actually the amount that it picks up will be like five to 10% of what it would normally get in sunlight. So if you have sunlight or you think it's that time of year where you will have plenty of sunlight, then you can certainly use this with this wherever you go. If you don't have sunlight and you can plug this into <laughs> what RV enthusiasts euphemistically call shore power, it's actually a term from boating, you can charge this up by plugging it into a regular 110 volt outlet. All right, so we've looked at these, they work great. They put out about as much power as they advertise they'll put out. Now I will tell you, it is definitely a two person job to put these up. Will these work out in a boondocking situation? Absolutely. Now note that there's no 
bottom edge. So you gotta be careful to get the whole thing up into the sun. So this is great for boondocking. That's 400 watts. It'll fill that thing faster than a lot of things can take power out of it. Now, if you're gonna use a microwave for a little while, this will keep it charged very nicely because you don't use the microwave for more than say 10 minutes at a time. So we have a pretty nice setup here. I'd like to thank All Powers for sending this away. This is, uh, I guess the closest you could say, a 400 watt panel. We're seeing nearly that going into the power station. So there you have it, uh, power supplies. We're gonna throw a picture up of these on Amazon so you can see how much they cost. Like all solar panels, they're not terribly cheap. If you look at that solar panel over there, that is the one that powers my station. And that's a 250 watt panel, and it costs less than $250. So less than a dollar a watt. These will be more because of the fact that they're somewhat flexible because they have built into them something to hold them up like this to the sun and because they're working directly with the power station. Now, will that kind of a battery charge this? Absolutely it will. So, there you have it. If you'd like to help support this channel, please go to www.patreon.com slash ke0og and find a way that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.